All right, y'all. I am here to finish what I started. Again, we got four more machines that we need to run, as uh, as far as I know. Um, let me go ahead and empty the shark and the Dyson, and we're gonna set them aside. I'm gonna set the other Bissell aside over here as well. Ugh. container off that in a second. First we're going to empty the shark because <clears throat> well Dyson's easier to do. Okay, there's the shark. Now the Dyson. Okay, hopefully. I still got two pom poms in there, but we can kind of do without those. They're not a. Uh... Well, I mean, what's two pom poms? We're going for a big number, right? Okay. So, next up, we're going to. Let me get that Bissell attachment out of the way. I'm going to use the. Powered lift away, uh, and the Hoover. <clears throat> I was going to go for the DC-33, but, well, again, you know I like to mix things up, and I can't talk right now, uh, whoever's calling me. So first, we're going to run the shark. Unplug the other shark and the Dyson. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Hoover. Um, now I want to get the Hoover and the shark plugged in. All right, so let's go ahead and give the shark a go. Spreading it out a little bit more. Okay, we're going to go ahead and check the bottom. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that up in the machine. Let's see if it did. Okay, 
I'd say that's about as good as it's going to get. So, now it's time for the Hoover. Um... So that was pretty good. <clears throat> All right. Now it's time to empty both of these, and uh, I need to find another bagless unit I can use. I will empty these in a second. And now I'm going to use the Dyson. I'm not using the pet hair eraser because we saw how how that went. Um, Oh, I have an idea. Dyson DC 25. Yeah, you get to see three Dysons in this one. First, though, that's a bad shark belt. First, though, we're going to do the DC 33. So, bring this over here. Let's empty the Hoover. <clears throat> Yummy vacuum food. <laughs> I know, that's probably a bad joke. Um... the shark okay first I'd better unplug the Hoover and <clears throat> shark I will wrap these up after the video I don't want to run out of film Just about to fall over. Okay, spread this out a bit. Because you know Dyson, their automatic height setting. You need room to work. Okay.
Let's go ahead and check the den and see what it did. Oh yeah, a lot of fine dirt and all that mainly. Yeah, Dyson's definitely, they definitely get a lot of the fine dirt. Let's put that back here. I'm running out of room behind me. Well, let's go ahead and unwrap the DC-25 and get it running and all that. This video is probably going to be a lot shorter. Because I've, so far I've definitely run seven machines. I'm not going to try and reach over that chop saw. I'm probably going to end up cutting some wood and doing a... <clears throat> sawdust test with one of these that I don't want to pick up with a vacuum DC-25. Alright, let's see. Whoa. That one stuffed a lot more. I thought there was less down there because I thought I got most of it the DC-33, but nope. It all got stuffed into the DC-25. Okay, now time to empty my mixes. 
into this shredder bin of many goodies. Okay, I'm going to have to use two hands for this. Oh my gosh, I really stuffed this one. I'm going to put the camera down. I'm still going to talk. Um, yeah, I, w I didn't think I stuffed the DC-25 as much, but obviously I was wrong on that. It's like I say, um, Dysons, they are overrated, but they're also underestimated. Like, there's definitely a lot more fine dirt down here than, than I thought. Like, I thought it was mainly just the fine dirt from the tornado, but I think that, like, that looks like it's more than just the tornado. I mean, obviously, the Tornado's a deep cleaner as well, but Dyson's, they're definitely underestimated. <coughs> yeah, like we can plainly see there's a lot of fine dirt down there. Uh, honest, actually, let me go over it again real quick with the DC-25. I think mainly in here is where it is. Like maybe, maybe that was all there was. I don't know. I can't really tell. Yeah, I think it's mainly these ball units that are the big time deep cleaners. There's a little bit more fine dirt in there, but not a whole lot. I think I mainly got it during the test. Alright, well that's going to have to do it for this video. This is also a lot longer than I intended, but oh well. What can you do? So, I can tell y'all what y'all can do too, though. Y'all can tell me how y'all liked it. Tell me what y'all want to see. I'll see what I can do, how I can do it, and when I can do it. And if I can do it, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos like this one. And also other types of vacuum content. And until next time, bye.